back to our Team Phoenix and Warriors final project day. So today you're going to be finishing up this great pr brand presentation and you're going to be presenting your brand to your classmates. So let's get started. All right, our learning goal is I can revise, edit, and present my brand. So this is our big goal as writers today and for tomorrow. All right, so here's what we're going to be having you do. So you're gonna be using a checklist to make sure that you have all the components of your brand that you're gonna need. So you're gonna to need to make sure that on your presentation you have the name of the brand, you have the logo, you have the slogan, you have the description of your brand, the audience, and an explanation of your motive for even having this brand created. Um, these are all things that you've worked on in the past, so you might have to look at your past assignments from writing workshop to put these components into this presentation. And then step two, you're going to revise your writing. Step three, edit your writing. Part two is day two, and you're gonna be ready to present your own brand. All right, so day one, this is where we are. This day, you're gonna be revising and editing. So revising simply means that I am restructuring my writing to make it look better, to sound better for my audience. I'm making it flow a little bit more. So when we do that, we can use this great strategy called arms. So it simply means to add sentences, words, vocabulary. Um, then the R is remove. You're gonna remove unneeded words or sentences. Are you a little wordy when you write things? Um, maybe you have a sentence that you put in there, but really you don't need that on that particular section of your presentation. And then we're gonna move or rearrange a sentence or a word to make it sound better, to make it better for your audience. And then finally, substitute words to make clear and specific. I know in our class we call this, we give our words an upgrade. It's like that old cell phone that's old and played out and you don't want it anymore. So you go and you upgrade. So get the better words, more specific words that are better for your presentation. All right, and then finally, we have the cup strategy for helping us out with editing. We have to make sure that every sentence starts with a capital letter. We have to make sure that our sentences make sense. Also, punctuation. Make sure you have a good variety of punctuation or punctuation that just fits with your purpose for your presentation. And then finally, spelling. If it doesn't look right to you, try and figure out what that word is, how to spell it, ask a neighbor, ask a teacher, Google it, ask Siri, ask somebody, but um, use a dictionary. There are a lot of ways that you can figure out, but if that word doesn't look right or you get that little line underneath it, you need to fix that. All right, so then finally, we're gonna have you guys um, work with a peer for a peer conference. So on this left side, we have reminders of when you're working with another writer, make sure that you compliment their work. Give them compliments for like, I really liked the way you presented your purpose for your brand in a way that made sense to me. Okay, questions. I'm wondering um, why did you do this for your, for your logo instead of maybe something like this? You're really just getting that writer to think about what they're doing and adding some suggestions, like maybe this would work a little bit better and really asking like, is there a part that you're confused about that I can really help you with? Um, these would be some great things to do. Also make sure that you check over their um, capitalization, their usage, their punctuation um, and their spelling as you're doing that too. So with your peer conference partner, you are going to have a little checklist. So me, as a writer, I'm gonna go through and say name of brand. Yes, I have that. Yes, I have my logo. Yes, I have my slogan. Descript description of my brand. Yes, I have that. Description of audience. Yes. Explanation, and then once I have revised and edited, I can check those things off too. And then my partner, my partner is gonna be doing the exact same thing over here, and then my partner will will be initialing in this portion once my that that is complete. All right, and then the final thing will be presenting. So when you are presenting, we gave you these slides 
as an example. So instead of having like my entire keynote, um, I just put each of those slides up here. So you could see slide one is my name of my brand and um, just the name of that company. And then my second slide is my logo. My third slide is my slogan. My fourth slide is the description of my brand. And then the motive and our audience. So all of these things are here as an example. And they're not very pretty because Ms. Anderson and I in planning this, we were like, okay, we just want to make sure we have what we're supposed to have. So we went with text that's easily to read on the screen and that meets the requirements. So here is your day two final scoring guide. And we're going to be using this for grading your brand presentation. And we will find the average for your four points for today. So make sure you have everything else turned in throughout our unit so that you get all of your points for this assignment in this unit. All right, final steps. You're going to save that keynote presentation that you make for your presentation. As a PDF, you're going to share it to Canvas. You're going to upload to Writing Workshop. May 20th and 21st, and make sure that you practice for your presentation. All right, have fun, writers, and enjoy.